Hello everybody and welcome back to Platinum Edition for FS22. This is Silver Run Forest and we're going to be continuing today with our tree felling and our restoration of the roller coaster. Although when I say that, we're going to be doing that pretty much in every episode ever so slightly because this is a super long term project. So in the previous episode, in the first episode, uh, I did actually purchase a production. I, I purchased the wood turner. Uh, this is where the lathe is, the wood lathe. And um, I actually initially activated all three of the productions, the staircase railing, the pepper grinder and the bowl with our raw wood uh, in input. I have since disabled pepper grinder and bowl because I only want to have staircase railings because that's what the roller coaster requires. And these are quite slow. They're being produced very slow because obviously it's intricate work. These things don't happen overnight. So all the focus is now on those on the staircase railings because that is what we can take to the roller coaster first of all so we need to get some more wood so i've just been warming up the volvo bm i've been desperate to use this tractor i wanted to use it in episode one but obviously we were quite busy with the other machinery but now the time has come we do have a winch on the back and although our land that we we start off with isn't that steep there are still a few trees which are off to the side um yeah they're on the hillside here so I'm going to fell this tree. I think I own it. I hope I do. And we'll just get that to fall first of all. I think probably, just to make it easier, I'm going to strip off the foliage. Otherwise it's going to be really difficult to see what we're doing. I'm going to cut it in half. It's not a massive tree, but obviously it's still got some weight to it. So there we go. What I need to do is grab the winch cable which is just here. Press R. You can see we're pulling it out. And I'll probably attach it to about the centre. Press B, just there. And we've now got that attached. And the nice thing about this is we can do this uh, using a remote control. Yes, we can control the winch by pressing K and M. So let's just press K. Yep, that seems to be the right direction. Hopefully we don't see the tractor hurtling down the hill towards us. Because that is still quite heavy. There it goes. Very nice. And I guess just to finish it off, I have gone quite close to the edge. I will just drive a little bit. Just get it all the way up. Can we pull it any further? I think we've probably reached capacity there. Um, but it is up. Here it is. So it just needs to be disconnected. Press Y. And there we go. So that can now be picked up with the logging uh, Volvo BM. But actually, I think I might just cut this in half myself into manageable sized pieces. Just so I can pick them up. Oh, this does, oh no, that's not too heavy. Good. Um, yeah, because I'm not the greatest at controlling that machine. <laughs> so I'm, I'm alright. I, I can load it up, but I'm a bit slow. Uh, I will not be doing it all by hand though, because otherwise we're going to be carrying some very small pieces because I'm not using any kind of mod here to pick these up. These are just small enough to pick up by hand. And now we have the other one. So I might keep the tractor here if I can do. This next one is heavier. Oh, I've lost it. Where is it? I I've lost the log. There it is. I'm literally stood on it. So we'll attach that to there. Press K once again and you can see the winch is activated. Quite fast too. Goodbye log. I'll see you at the top. That is of course if you don't hit a boulder. There we go. Seems to have freed off. And that tractor is staying in place very nicely. Right. So I think that was a success. Just disconnect it. Very happy with that. And it's starting to go dark so I'm wondering if I should just deliver one more load of wood and then rest. I do need to get the Volvo, the yellow Volvo log carrier forwarder um, brought back over here. It's currently still having a swim. It's enough of that. You've got a nice wash. You're looking very clean. You've got work to do. So yeah, I was at the end of the previous episode just selling some wood here, but I'm not going to make a big habit of that, I don't think, unless we owned it. 
because if we own it we can use it as a production otherwise it is just a sell point and as I found out I didn't really make much money I'd have been better off delivering that wood to a production so I'll see you back over at the farm I'm still getting used to the map so I'm probably going to get lost We're home. Okay. Yeah, as I said in the previous episode, it would be nice to get a, a trailer as well because I can drive. I don't know what top speed is. It must be faster than that. It's 13. Yes, 21 miles per hour with the tractor. So that would be easier. Let's just get these logs thrown in. And then I'll hopefully be able to get some bigger ones in as well. Now, I've just remembered that. If we have seasonal growth enabled, then we're going to lose that wheat field today. We don't own it, but another farmer is going to harvest it. They might have already done so, actually. But I don't think this map needs seasonal growth. There's only, as far as I can see, three arable fields. So I think I'm going to disable that, and then it should, providing I buy it today, guarantee that that crop is not going to be harvested. Because uh, I do want to start the arable side of things as well. So yeah, seasonal growth, no. Let me just check the field. Make sure it's still got a growing crop in it. Well, ready to harvest crop, yes. Um, so to buy this, it's 92,000. We're gonna have to borrow some money, but I think that's okay, providing I don't make a habit of it. Um, so yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough. Right, and then we're gonna need a bit of money to rent the harvester but yeah that's just to guarantee that we do have some land to do arable work in as well okay so I'm going to pick up some more that tree there I've even marked to fell so I should probably fell that just get this log in I think I might have broken this crane in the previous episode luckily it's reset now but it was all wonky <laughs> after I did some horrific stacking. Right, that should do that nicely. All of this is going to be turned into railings for the roller coaster. So very locally sourced materials for that roller coaster. In fact, it's all going to come from here. If I can load it, there we go. Okay, good. Tuck it in as much as possible. And that's done. Brilliant. So I will just fell the tree. If you didn't see the previous episode, I also did demonstrate the spray cans. Um, there are different meanings you can change by pressing the comma button. I'm just going to spray one at random. There we go. We could spray them all actually. Ah, it overwrites them. Nice. So you can see all of them being applied. Okay, so that is the tree. I'm going to... Yeah, I'll use this. What I'll do is I'll change the setting. I had it on 8 meters. That was way too long. Doesn't fit into the Volvo. We're going to have it set to, I think, 5 meters, which was the default anyway. I must make sure I take the right tree down. Okay, press B to open that up. Press O to align. And then... X. Down it comes. Yeah, so this area here is going to be the yard. I'm going to extend the yard. But then we're going to plant some more trees elsewhere. Right, that should be in a good enough position. Is that five meters? That actually still looks quite long. I would downgrade that to three meters. Can you do four? Oh, you can do four. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be a bit more manageable. And that little one, on its own, can just be thrown in the back. 
Shouldn't fall out if I strap it. Let's get these loaded. Nice, I think that's probably the first double I've done. They're just small enough to be able to pick up two at the same time. Okay, pop them into there as well. And that's not a bad load. In fact, it's a very good load. So I'll just make that as wide as possible. I'll extend this out. And we will head off now. to our own production. It's just down here. It's in the... I don't know what the actual area is called. I guess it's Silver Run Town. Um, tempted to call it the Production District because there's many productions there. This is where I almost got hit by a train before. I didn't look left and then right and then left again, or vice versa, and I should have done. Yeah, it does come from the left. Okay, so yeah, we need to be over here. Has there been a crash? I think there has been a crash. Surprised the yellow car wasn't involved. Oh dear. Not good. Oh, it's not the camera view I want, otherwise I'm going to add to the crash. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, our production is just at the end of this road. It's not the first one. That is somebody else's establishment. One day it'll be ours. Ours is the second one. Here we go. So, we did have about 3,500 litres of wood in storage, so we'll see what we get it to this time. Just press this button. We now have six and a half thousand, so it looks like we've added about three thousand litres there, and that is going to be making many staircase railings overnight, which is great to see. Um, I am tempted actually to change the pepper grinder to selling, just briefly. I might as well do it for the bowl as well, because the price is very good. So we might as well just get the money for that if we can do. Yeah, so our arable field, we don't have a trailer to cart the grain in, we don't have a combine. I do want a trailer though, so I think the best thing to do, I know I'm on the wrong side of the road, I think the best thing to do is to get a trailer which is convertible into a flatbed, like this one. Yeah, I, I think that'd be good. I'll just check the used machinery. Oh, look at that. That's impressive. Can't afford it, though. And we probably don't have a tractor that can pull it anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to, first of all, configure it as... Well, it's free, actually, isn't it? Yeah. So it can stay as a trail like that. We do need to get the wheat field done. Um, because at least we can get some money in from the wheat. Even though we don't have the drills, we don't have anything like that yet. It's going to be a long term project, but like the roller coaster. But we will need that trailer as well to deliver the materials to the roller coaster, unless you can set it to distributing. I know you can do, but will it distribute to the roller coaster? We'll have to try it. There it is. I would pick it up, but we don't have a tow bar. So we're going to have to return with the tractor. And then we'll sleep. Now, come to think of it, I'll pick it up in the morning, just in case we do need to use it to transport some pallets. No point in bringing it back up here to take it away again. So, we'll go to bed. Here's our house. And here is the trigger to rest. We can see in. I did try and get in yesterday, but I didn't seem to manage it. How did I not spot those pumpkins? 
previously. They can't have been there, surely. <laughs> okay. Um, no, this is an autumnal theme. There's pumpkins everywhere. I like it. That looks really good. I love the leaves. Very nice. Right. Okay, so how has our production got on overnight? We have... Well, we must have spawned something. Oh, the other field's been harvested. And it's been drilled. Let's take a look here. Don't know why I thought they'd be at the back. They look good. Very nice. So, um, yes, I, I think I will deliver it myself. It's literally just down the road. We'll take the winch off, which I know we're going to be using again. I don't believe I've actually pressed this question mark before. Missions. Okay, there is a new mission type. The Deadwood Mission. Yes, I heard about this in the blog post. The owner of the forest will hire you to cut down dead trees on their land. Once the mission is accepted, an area where you can find the dead trees will be marked on the map. Furthermore, the specific trees are marked with an exclamation mark so that you know which of these are the, which are the correct ones. Be careful not to cut down any unmarked trees, otherwise you'll be penalised. Once you cut down a mission tree, you can sell it to earn some additional money. Yes, we're definitely going to do this. Uh, make sure you sell all the trees before collecting your mission reward, as the forest owner will take care of this otherwise. A second new mission type is the transport mission. You can hire to transport felled trees to the southern sawmill. The pickup points can be anywhere on the map. Be careful not to deliver them to the wrong destination, as you are responsible for any damages. And finally, there is a rock removal mission, where it is your task to destroy marked rocks in a specific area. For this, you require a hydraulic breaker attachment for the skid steer loader. Watch out to only destroy the marked boulders, as you will receive a penalty otherwise. So yeah, we're going to do all of these. Not all today, obviously. Um, but I think we can certainly do... Well, we can certainly transport some, can't we? Let's just go into the mission system. Right, so it doesn't say hire machines, so it looks like we do have to own the machines. That seems like a very good deal. £10,000. Might be several loads, though. I did say that I'd start with the deadwood trees, so I think we're going to do the deadwood trees, as that'd be good. Anyway, before we do that, let's just head over to the store, pick up our trailer, and I'm going to get the first pallet of materials taken over to the roller coaster, the railings. But this will be the only time I just take one pallet. We'll, in the future, take a big bulk load just to get the ball rolling. This is going to be a handy trailer. And with the money we make from the Deadwood missions, we should be able to then rent the Combine Harvester. Okay, I know it's small, but it's better than nothing because we don't have a front load or anything. I think we'll go around the block. Try not to lose my railings in the meantime. Okay, so that beacon of light is where we're going to. This is the very first step towards riding the roller coaster. And it looks like, well, from what it says in the blog post, what giants have said, it looks like it's a very long road to get to it. We have got to do so much to finally jump into it, or jump onto it, and then, uh, yeah, ride it. Oh, this is probably the entrance. Best if I don't overshoot. Yeah, so here we go. So this is the uh, the trigger. Okay, it's taken it. So that is now being deducted that 1,000 litres slowly from the total that's required, which was, I think, about 2,016 litres. So that's good. That is the, the first step towards getting things done. And I think it was worth bringing it here because it does take time to process it. Right. The Deadwood missions. We must start them. So Farmland 18 and Farmland 24. 
18 and 24. I want to do the closest because it takes me a long time. There's 24. And 18 is... Somebody's probably already spotted it. Must be down here. Just there. Right. So let's hope there's not too much. 18 is the closest. Is that the cheaper one of the two? Yes, it is. So we're going to accept that. 10 trees. Okay. Um, so help the owner to cut down the trees. You can sell them afterwards. So I guess for this we're going to need the Volvo BM. We'll just pop this over here. Yeah, I probably can't call it the Volvo BM because we have two. The logging machine. Did that money that we have come from the roller coaster project? Kind of get the feeling it did. Uh, right, so this doesn't seem like very good pay, and I think the reason for that is because we can sell the wood. Like ten trees, that's quite significant. That's more than what we've already cut down. Uh, they will be dead, so they're probably not as good. Probably not as much wood in them. But yeah, even so, that seems not bad. Uh, I was planning on doing it with a chainsaw, but maybe we should use the harvester. We will see. When we get there, we'll see. We're getting closer. They must all be within that red circle. Which, thankfully, is not a massive area, so this should be quite easy to locate. Take this track. So, we're looking out for dead trees now. And I'm seeing quite a few, actually. Yes, and they are marked. As they said they would be. So, we better get cracking. Start stripping off these branches. It probably would be easier and faster with the harvester. I think we'll, def well, we definitely will do with a bigger project. Um, I suppose they're not that big once they're down. Just cut these up. Yeah, so I can actually pick these up. They must be lighter as well because they're dead. start putting them in and I'm just gonna get a load done I might do some off camera as well because it may become a little bit much if I record all of it and maybe I should try and find a way of not losing them maybe bring them out into the open first but this is potentially a really good way of boosting those productions yeah I, I, I can't do this I keep losing them What a beautiful stream. Well, I have found a few there. Looks like we do have another one over here. Um, but, yeah, I find it hard to find them, actually. Let's get this one down. I'm hoping, really hoping, I can get five trees into the machine in one go, because then it's just two trips. Uh, any more than two, and that's a lot of driving, because that thing only does 13 miles per hour. Anyway, we better get it over here, because I am going to have to load it up. Okay, right, so that is, I think, the fifth tree. Let's just check this on the menu. Yes, we're 50% of the way through, and that is getting pretty loaded. Um, as we know that 5 fits, there's no point in overloading it. I think it might already be overloaded, actually. Um, but yeah, 
I'm going to really struggle to find this final fight. I'm beginning to think that it is actually anywhere on plot 18 and not just within that circle. It does say it's farmland 18, it's just I thought, as there is a circle there, maybe you've got to stick within it. So I'll have a look around. Um, obviously I'll only cut a tree down that's got a marking on it. So you can't really go wrong, because uh, if you cut a tree down with no marking, you know you've done the wrong thing. So let's hope our own production doesn't mind Deadwood. Hmm, I'm just trying to think now actually. Maybe it is not wanted at productions, because it is potentially starting to write. It looks alright. Might be rotting a bit. But I guess, worst comes to the worst, it goes to a sell point, so we're still going to get paid for it. That is an impressive looking load. Right, this is our production just down here. We're thundering in at 12 miles per hour. We wouldn't want to scare everybody. Actually, I haven't checked the lights on this thing. Uh, they're pretty good. Right. So, yeah, soon we're going to have so much wood that we can activate all the productions. Let's just hope it's accepted. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Good. Uh, there did look to be a great deal there. Okay, that didn't update, did it? Or did it? Because we did rest. Oh, I should have checked how much was in there before. Right, well. That's annoying. I should have checked. I'll check next time. Great Woods Gallery. Some interesting places around here. Right, so we're back, and I think I can see one. Things with some of these trees, they are they're quite bare. Until you get to the very top. It's just the way they are. And it can be a little confusing when you're looking around for the dead ones. Precisely, I've now lost it. There it is. Yep, this is definitely one for us. So, four more to find. They have all so far been within that circle, so it must be within the circle. I'm probably getting confused for absolutely no reason at all. So, I'll keep cutting down, processing, and loading up, and uh, I'll see you when we are much fuller. Well, it's a bit fuller. I have just found the final three. They're pretty much all together. This makes it very easy. We've got this one here, that one there, and the other one is just there. So I will get these three done in a time lapse. Okay, right, that is the uh, the contract finished. We're not going to actually collect the money, though, until the end. I must remember to collect it. £1,500. There we go. Um, wrong trees felled zero. That's good to know. And that's not a bad load, once again. In fact, it looks like more than before. But this time I'm going to save, check how much wood we have, then put it into the production, and then make sure it's actually being accepted and not just being deleted. I think it was, I think, because we did rest and everything, so it's obviously used quite a bit, and also with it being dead wood, I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as good as normal fresh wood. Um, I bet there's not much, ash, not, not many litres of wood in each tree, which is how the game measures it. So yeah, I'll see you down at the, uh, the production. Okay, here we are. So, 
quick save of the game. And let's just check. How much do we have? We have got 6,265 litres of wood. We now have 6,446. Right, okay, so it is being accepted. And as I suspected, the dead wood is almost worthless. That's really bad, actually. Anyway, we do have the uh, contract money to collect, so we'll take that. Uh, so, yeah, was it worth it? Hard to say, really. Not too sure. But we'll be doing other missions. Uh, the one where we have to do the mining, the rock removal, um, that's going to be a little bit difficult unless we rent a machine. Because we don't have a skid steer, we don't have a hydraulic breaker. But I definitely want to do that. That will be good. Anyway, that is it for episode two. Really hope you're enjoying it. Uh, of course, if you do want to uh, pre-order Platinum Edition, my affiliation link is down below. It is released on the 15th of November. But yeah, until the next episode, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.